Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your second half of your June from the 16th to the 30th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post and when I go live. Uh, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, I do post readings on there too. So Gemini, let's get started, Gemini. Tell me about Gemini here. What's going on with Gemini and love and the person that they are connecting with for the second half of their June from the 16th to the 30th. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Okay, we have the Three of Swords, okay. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords here. I'm, I'm telling you, a lot of guys are going, I, I mean, this is the fifth reading I'm doing. And um, just the collective is going through a lot of relationship woes here today. Five of Pentacles. Seems like it's a situation that you're being juggled here. Seems like there's a situation that could be coming to an end or has come to an end here. Someone here is feeling betrayed. Someone here is feeling lonely. Someone here is being left out in the feel, feeling like they're being left out in the cold here with a four of wands here in a chariot. One of the things I'm getting here, I just feel like this connection just kind of stayed stuck and never really moved forward or took off here because there were issues going on here. Seems like someone here was dipping in and out. Someone here was juggling other people here, okay? It just seems like there has been multiple betrayals here. I just feel like we have someone here that's, that's definitely coming with an apology. I feel like whoever this is, whoever you're dealing with here, I feel like this is an individual that's coming in to do damage control here. Yeah, because I feel like this person's like fearful that you have found out or that, you know, you will found, find out. And I feel like they're trying to get ahead of it, you, you know, by, 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 by covering some stuff up. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the Page of Cups here, the uh, Five of Pentacles. Oh my God, Seven of Swords here, Ten of Swords here, and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Th this has been coming up a lot today and just so you know every time i get on here i i, I clear out the cards i cleanse it and it, this is just really strongly coming up where i feel like the, what the collective has to do at this time is to reassess the relationships whether these relationships are good for them and, and sort of like you know make that decisive decision you know to you know leave if it's not uh because you know uh, there's just a lot of suffering that's happening here um yeah, Seven of Swords here, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sash, the Four of Wands here, and the Five of Wands, the Chariot here, and the Four of Cups. There's just a lot of conflict in your situation right now here, Gemini. Yeah, there's just a lot of conflict here, a lot of arguing, a lot of yelling here, a lot of screaming here. Um, I just feel like the attention that you've been seeking from this individual, they're just the only attention that they're giving to you is arguments and yelling here. Okay, so tell me about uh, Gemini. The person that Gemini is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Gemini for uh, the second half of their June from the 16th to the 30th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Six of Pentacles. We have the Judgment card in the Hierophant. Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is you. Yeah, I feel like this is you. This is you freeing yourself from this, not giving to this anymore. I feel like you guys are finally coming to a realization and you're seeing the light or that this hasn't enlightened you in a way where that you're learning from this experience and you are using this experience to empower yourself here, Gemini. Judgment, Sagittarius energy, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Ace of Pentacles and the Sun. Okay, so what we have here is I feel like you're moving towards a new beginning. 
You're just focusing on you. You're focusing on your happiness here. You're focusing on your pentacles. You're focusing on uh, creating, um, you know, the life that you want for yourself, you know, financially, you, you, you know. Also emotionally here too. Tell me the nine of pentacles here, the seven of pentacles. Yeah, you're just not going to invest your time, waste any more time uh, by holding on to this individual, hoping and wishing that this person will change. And I feel like obviously, you know, you're realizing that this person is not. Okay, so yeah, you know, a lot of pentacles here. So I just feel like you're focusing on your pentacles. Uh, perhaps some of you guys are focusing on investing your money into stocks or something like that, or real estate, or that you guys are saving money for something here. The uh, judgment card in the three of wands, the higher fit here, and the fool. Yeah, you're realizing that there's no future for this individual. And you're coming to a realization that it's best for you to move on here. Some of you guys are really connected to your guides and your angels and your ancestors and to a higher power here. And I feel like you're seeking, you've been seeking guidance surrounding the situation here. And I just feel like you know what to do. You basically know what to do now, okay? Ace of Pentacles here and the Magician, Gemini, Virgo here, the Sun card here and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're going to stop at nothing in creating the life that you want. So I feel like you're in this energy of like, you know what, I'm going to use this experience to empower myself, to stand on, on my, to stand on my own two feet, and to create the life that I want here, Gemini. So the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about um, Gemini, outcome and advice. What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on here for the second half of their June from the 16th to the 30th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we have the Queen of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Five of Swords. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, Gemini, you're putting yourself first. You're no longer playing games with this individual, okay? And it seems like you have a leg up on this person here because you already figured it out. You already know what this person's about. So whatever they're trying to do, trying to get ahead of this, trying to cover up whatever they're trying to cover up here, it's not going to work. Ace of Swords and the Nine of Wands here. Yeah, the truth is going to come out. You are going to expose this person for their bad behavior here. Nine of Wands here, Two of Wands, and a Nine of Cups. So I do feel like you will expose this and then it's like the final nail in the coffin and then you're kind of like out of here, you know? The Ten of Cups here. Two of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're just making a decision that, you know what, I'm just going to take this elsewhere. I'm going to find someone here who is, in, who is in alignment with what I'm looking for in a relationship. Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're moving on. Knight of Wands here. You know, I just feel like you don't want to deal with this player anymore. And I just feel like you're finding your freedom here. Yeah, you're finding your freedom here. Knight of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. You're letting this go. Like I said, you're being enlightened by this whole situation here. And, you know, I just feel like this this truth that's coming to light here you know i just feel like it's giving you that power to really just focus on you focusing on new beginnings here focusing on healing here yeah focusing on just doing your self-work um deep inner work here so i see you guys you know moving towards healing here and just moving towards perhaps a future that is going to be better than what you're experiencing right now. And, you know, I just feel like, like, like I said, I just feel like you just want to take this elsewhere here, Gemini. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.